Hello YouTube, this is Lobo. I'm just chilling down here in Denver. I got out a little bit last week, did a little bit of camping. And uh, basically hanging out here, setting up plans for the next excursion. Uh, I got a buddy coming up and we're probably going to go down to southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. But I need to uh, kind of trim up my, uh, as I jokingly call my English garden. I don't like to mow yards or plant domestic grasses and landscaping. I like to keep it all natural. But these plants here need to come down. I'm not sure what exact type of plant these are, uh, but I think it'd be a waste to weed eat these and then just chunk them out in the trash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pluck some of those taller stalks there and see if I can make some rope out of it. Is there something red in here? There we go. Hey. What's up? That's showing up or not? Morning. I'm getting ready to turn your house into rope there, Miss Ma'am. Alright, so I uh, went out and pulled up about 10 stalks of this grass. See, it's pretty good, pretty good size. And I've got me a little baton here. And what I'm going to do basically is I'm going to take the uh, leaves off of this so it's just a stalk. And then I'm going to pound along the actual uh, piece here. Because what I want to do is I want to get the pith out of the middle of this. And uh, there should be fibers uh, running along the side of this. And then I can just basically take those fibers and start twisting them up into twine. And from that point I can begin making rope. So uh, basically I don't need a knife or anything. I just pulled these out of the ground as regular old plants. And again, I'm not even sure what kind of plants these are. And I've got a baton. And basically what the baton is what I'm going to use to do the pounding with. And basically this baton I think belongs to Frankie. Or he's borrowed it from me. So anyway, so I'm going to strip these off and kind of pound on these for just a minute. Alright, so I've kind of found a, a way just to mass produce these. Because the, pretty much the key of doing something like this in the wild is you want to save your calories. You don't want to burn your calories. It's the difference between living in the city and you know, living calories are muy importante. So I'm trying to find ways of doing this faster and with fewer effort. Okay. Just like so. Okay, well the last one. Got a little system down here. Basically I found the the longest, smoothest part of this little uh, baton here. I'm just going to lightly tap keep doing that in the same spot, conserve my energy by only having to use my left hand as a guide, and just run it down a little conveyor belt if you will, I'm trying to break this up enough so I can get to the pith in the middle of this, and then it gets really woody right here by the root. It's a little bit tougher at the top, which actually would be the bottom there. And again, I'm, I don't know what this plant is. Alright, so what I'm going to do at this point here is I've busted these out enough that I can go through and peel the I believe this is called death. Okay, so my pieces have dried out, and I've basically got enough to do about four clumps. Uh, I'm kind of guesstimating on the uh, how thick they need to be, but those are a consistent thickness. So what I'm going to do now is I've acquired me a little stick. Of course, I got my now nasty bowl of water here. So what I want to do, these have been dried and they've, they've shrank. So I want to get them wet again. And just for this piece, I'm just going to get this end wet. And then I'm going to use this stick basically as a tie. To 
push it around a little bit. And I don't need to. It's just going to be temporary. I'm just going to hold this end of the rope as I'm twisting it. So it doesn't really have to be perfect. Okay. So I have it like so. I'm going to soak the rest of it in here. Just run it through there and let it get wet. Get moist again. I'll rehydrate a little bit. And so, with these grasses here, I'm basically gonna let my get my feet involved in this thing here. Turn it off to the side, and then all I'm doing is simply twisting, twisting, twisting until right before it kinks. Make sure it doesn't kink up. Got about this much left here. So I'm gonna feed in some more. Ooh, come back here. It's got, it's got still got a woody piece on it. I didn't get that off there. All right. So all starting about the same. Let me get these wet. I'm just going to kind of mesh these all together. I'm going to get back on my twisting. I got these woody pieces on the end. so that will wrap around each other without uh, breaking off, which it feels like it's trying to do. Let's keep twisting and twisting. And then I'm going to repeat the process here. Just a little bit to get a little there. And then I'm going to add this. Oops. Shoot, that came undone. It wasn't supposed to do that. But, you can see from this section here that I actually did properly. You've actually got you some rope. It's a little messed up in here, but it's still strong. It's those wood fibers in there. So basically, I just made a rope. Cool, huh? And that would definitely... Uh, yeah. It's a pretty strong rope. Voila. Anyways, you can see that you can... I could, if I wanted to, undo it a little bit. And just get more grass. Just add the grass into it. Keep on twisting. Do a better job this time. Keep on twisting, and I'm making my rope. Alright, cool. Thanks for watching.